Good evening. More than 300 workers at Spirit found out they no longer have a job. The company gave them the bad news yesterday. Cakes Abby Ray is live in Southeast Wichita with details. Abby. Yes, these layoffs weren't a complete surprise. In fact, Spirit announced just last month they'd be letting more than 400 people go. So people we were speaking with today say that this wasn't unexpected. In fact, it wasn't a matter of if, just when. Spirit Aerosystems is one of Wichita's largest employers, but now 310 of Spirit's former hourly employees are without a job. It's disappointing. Uh, I've been here for about two years, and when I started, things were going really well. And they talked about how we were really uh, ramping up production, so it's uh, really disappointing to hear all the stuff going on with Boeing, so it's not good news. Wesley Unruh was on his way to work when we caught him. He says he loves working at Spirit, but now he has concerns about losing his job. Yeah, I got three kids at home, and, and I was close on this layoff, so if they do it again, I'm pretty worried that I'm going to have to be moving on. Yeah. And I don't want to, so a good place to work, so I'd like to stay. The local machinist union says it's here to support those that have lost their jobs. It also calls on Spirit to honor the contract they have to refrain from hiring contractors to fill any positions until all laid off workers have been reinstated. We, we don't anticipate any additional rounds of layoffs. Uh, at the moment. That's the voice of Spirit Representative Joe Bashino. He sent over this statement to adapt to evolving customer demands and balance our financial situation. Spirit made the difficult decision to reduce its hourly production workforce in Wichita, Kansas by approximately 300. These changes were driven by the need to slow down our operations of commercial programs due to high inventory levels. Employees will remain on the payroll and will be paid through their respective layoff effective date. I know it's a little bit out of their hands, but um, it's part of that kind of the nature of the industry. And I just hope that they're focused on making things better. And, and I think we're doing a good job quality wise, in my opinion, where I'm at. I've never felt like I couldn't just speak up and talk about things when things were going wrong. All those affected by those recent layoffs will be paid through July 4th and will receive their final paycheck July 11th. For now, I'm live in Southeast Wichita. Abby Ray, Cake News on your side.